good. Uh, the next group we're going to be doing is shoulder extensors. I'm standing in front of Lewis. I always try to stand outside the plane of movement. I'm going to move passively his shoulder into extension to know how much is available. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stabilize. I'm going to stabilize his torso to prevent undesired movements, not restricting the movement of the scapula. I'm going to palpate either the posterior deltoid or the latissimus dorsi. I prefer the posterior deltoid. And I'm going to ask Lewis to give us his best movement. If we see no movement <laughs> or we feel no contraction, we award the grade of zero. If we feel a contraction and we see no movement, we award the grade of one. But if Lewis is able to move partially in the gravity eliminated plane, we award the grade of two minus. If his best effort allows him to go through full range, then we award the grade of two. If Lewis is able to go through the full range, please do Lewis, uh, with two fingers of resistance, and that is his best effort, we award the grade of two plus.